Mentioned Downs View and various images may come to mind. A long time ago, it was home to de Havilland airplanes, hangars, and various enterprises. Also, the Royal Canadian Air Force. This area and its uses have evolved. Military base housing is gone, making way for new homes. It has also hosted major events like Sarstock. There are other commercial, institutional, and non-profit tenants across the 520-acre property. Toronto FC even have space. We're building a city within a city, and that's a big responsibility. Attack and Mohammedi is with Northcrest Developments. The company bought the land from Bombardier in 2018. The aerospace giant is off to Pearson. By mid-2024, the only planes flying will be overhead. This project is the largest of its kind in actually North America. We are going to ensure that this entire community follows new innovative manners. We're looking at mass timber. We're creating a net zero community. We want to be a bit more creative in terms of our building design. There will be 10 distinct districts. It's estimated there will be 45,000 homes and 100,000 new residents. Construction will happen in phases until 2050. What is Northcrest doing to ensure that the history of this site is going to be cherished and carried forward into the future? We want to make sure that we honor that history of Downsview and Northwest Toronto. We're going to take innovative ways to do that, whether it means using their runway and reimagining that as a way to connect all of these new communities, maintaining the hangars and retrofitting them. After three years of consultations, Mohammed says job creation is major and with such a big development and large number of people coming here traffic is top of mind sparking talks of new pedestrian and vehicular arteries as well as connections to three nearby subway stations go transit is set to expand service too while change is necessary and growth is is part of society we want to make sure that we hold on to our culture and our history we want to make sure that not everything becomes this big corporation ko brown is with the big graphic youth arts project and works with area students Brown is on an advisory committee for the property's future. His group's artwork is popping up across Downsview. My hope is that we can find a way to make this space sustainable, equitable, and accessible. My hope is that the people that have laid foundation in this community still feel like they have home on this new property. As for what's next, a secondary planning process will carry on into 2024. Shovels for the first district are set to be in the ground in 2026. At Downsview Park, Nick Westall, City News.